Good day everyone, we are working out this matrices question. We have three matrices given, P, Q and R. Now we have to explain whether matrix P is a singular or non-singular matrix. So let's find the determinant of P. So negative 1 times 5. Subtract 0 times 2. Which is equal to... Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5, subtract 0 times 2 is 0. Negative 5 subtract 0 is negative 5. And since the determinant of P is not equal to 0, matrix P is non-singular. Okay, so if the determinant of P would have been equal to 0, then the matrix P would be singular. So because the determinant of P is not equal to 0, matrix P is non-singular. Let's move on to part 2. Given that PQ is equal to R, determine the values of A and B. So let's set up the matrix equation. P multiply by Q We call it R. Let's multiply row by column, negative 1 times A. Plus 2 times B, which is 2B, is equal to 11. And 0 times A is 0. Plus 5 times B is 5, B is equal to 15. So we have two equations here. So from equation 2, 5b is equal to 15. So therefore, b is equal to 15 divided by 5. 5 under 15 is 3. So using equation 1 now, which is negative a plus 2b equal 11, we substitute b is equal to 3. So we will have negative a plus 2 times 3 is equal to 11. Negative a plus 6 is equal to 11. Let's subtract 6 from both sides. So negative a is equal to 11, take away 6, which is 5. And therefore, a is equal to negative 1 times 5, which is negative 5. So b is equal to 3, and a is equal to negative 5. So a is equal to negative 5, and b is equal to 3. Let's move on to part 3. State the reason why the matrix product QP is not possible. So Q has an order we find the number of rows which is two rows by one column. Let's look at the order of P now. Order of P is equal to two rows by two columns. This is row one and row two, so it's two rows by two columns, column one, column two. So if we multiply Q by P, we see that the number of columns of Q is not equal to the number of rows of P. So therefore, the matrix product QP is not possible since the number of columns of Q is not equal to the number of rules of P. So in order for Q and P to be conformable for multiplication, the number of columns of Q must be equal to the number of rows of P. These two numbers on the inside must be equal and because they are not equal to each other, it is not possible to find the matrix product QP. Thanks for watching. Do have
a wonderful day.